Right now we do because we're, I mean, at least I do, because I'm not as experienced compared to some of the melanoma docs as well as renal cell carcinoma docs that typically took care of patients receiving IL-2 or interferon and even epilimumab. So on my lung cancer patients, you know, as I'm getting more and more experience, and certainly I've done this for quite some time, I feel more and more comfortable controlling those sort of side effects uh, on my own, but certainly having backup or people to go to either in dermatology to take a look at a rash to help how best to manage that. Certainly a pulmonologist, if a patient were trying to decide whether or not shortness of breath is due to just their disease and infection or pneumonitis. Same with a hepatologist to try, try to decide as the LFTs uh, increasing in, in due to their disease or is it due to a complication from one of these immunotherapies. So having those pe people to go to to ask the questions I think would be important particularly as you're starting out taking care of these patients uh, with these types of therapies. But I think just like it took us a while to get used to taking care of patients on Tarsiva or Lotnib, how to take care of their rash, and we needed help from dermatology as well as our other colleagues to just learn how to take care of those, I think over time we're going to become much more comfortable.